Gray skies at the five o'clock hour here in the FM area. Traffic moving along pretty smoothly. Temperatures staying below freezing and that all important look at that live view from our friends at the Minnesota Department of Transportation. We're calling it our Moorhead Dilly Cam. Let me see the people lining up out there just to get that first season treat. How fun is that? Now we're watching Saturday and we're watching Sunday for some wintry weather making its way through and between now and then we'll have some light snow chances, but mixed precipitation could get quite heavy as we go through the day on Saturday and it lasts into Sunday. There'll be a transition to snow for most areas and the wind will accompany the snow. Areas of six or more inches look to be likely and it looks mainly down to the south and some blowing snow, drifting snow and difficult travel conditions will be possible through the weekend. Stay tuned for changes in the forecast and I'll have an update here in just a minute. Right now, 24 at Hector, 23 at Moorheads Airport. Wind light, as you can see, gray skies. Hallock 14, there's the freezing line. That has worked its way all the way south into South Dakota now. So we're cooler tonight than we were yesterday with temperatures that reached the mid 30s. Still very pleasant out in central portions of South Dakota where Pier and Rapid City saw 55 to 60 degrees. Look at the mixed precipitation forming on the boundary between the cold and the warm and up north in the cold we have snow, but we will have an area of mixed precipitation that makes its way through overnight. And that means you could have some slippery conditions on area roads. Let's show you where in your hour by hour forecast activity spreading across our area. And it isn't until we get to the 10 o'clock hour where it starts spreading into the Cheyenne and James River valleys. Uh, we could even get some accumulation of snow in some spots. Now surface temperatures are cool today below freezing in all of our area. But if we get some raindrops that are forming in the warmer air above the ground, that could really freeze and cause a little bit of a slippery concoction on area roads. Most areas will see an inch or so of snow. Some of you could have some ice. The best chance of that will be down south. Take it slow. Notice that as we advance this into the morning hours, 730, most of the snow is out of here. But you still may have as we sleep some slippery conditions setting up. So take it easy. The lower chance of anything too slippery will be in the far northern communities along and north of Highway 200. Temperatures to start your day single digits north teen south steady eddy for most of the day. We might gain two to five degrees in your hometown, but these north winds pick up. They get a little breezy gusting over 20 miles per hour, maybe even over 30 miles per hour as we go into the afternoon. Afternoon temperatures will be falling down into the single digits and we're on our way back down to sub zero temperatures as we go through our Wednesday night into your Thursday morning. Fargo 18 to start. We'll have a chance at some slippery road conditions in the morning. We could have a good half inch or maybe a little more down in our southern communities of snow on the ground. Temperatures peaking at 20, but they're falling by the time you get off work. We'll be on our way down towards 10 degrees. Quick update on our first alert weather days, Saturday and Sunday. Models still showing signs of that storm making its way through. Best chance of rain far south and mixture and then snow. Notice a heavier precipitation a little farther south than it was yesterday. That trend, well, that hopefully will continue, but we're going to keep you posted. It continues to impact the weather uh, in our area through Sunday and then another system working its way through near Minneapolis on Monday as a stormy track continues. Best chance of six inches plus will be near I-94 and point south. We will keep you posted on any changes to that as we approach your weekend. If you have travel plans, keep us close by. Download that Valley News Live weather app. Anoush, thank you for a gorgeous shot of that horned lark out there. Maybe a sign of spring sure is colorful. Look at this Thursday morning sub zero here in Fargo and only a lucky 13 degrees for you. We may be a dry day on Thursday. Another chance of some snow spreading in from the north as we warm it up on Friday. First alert weather day Saturday and Sunday for the storm system we talked about with wind and mixture of precipitation and then below average temperatures continue into next week as well. Welcome to spring. Mike. I think it's fine even though it is below you know average. Yeah. Relatively okay. speaking, I'm glad. I'm glad you're on my team. I am on your team. <laughs>